Well, new tonight, some people are upset after learning that Blunt County schools will no longer allow prayer over the loudspeaker before football games. Starting this week, there will be a moment of silence in place of the pregame prayer. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark joins us live in studio now after talking with neighbors there in Blunt County. Michael. Yeah, for as long as many of those neighbors in Blunt County can remember, a student or volunteer has led a prayer over the public address system before football games. That all ends Friday after a complaint from an outside organization. Under Friday night lights at Blunt County Schools, any pregame prayers will now have to be unplugged. One of our youth actually led the prayer over the PA system. And that was last week. And that was last week. Scott Wortham is a youth minister at Remlap's First Baptist Church just down the road from Southeastern High School. We really see no harm in praying for the welfare of our football players and those that will be playing and protection and good sportsmanship. But the Blunt County School Superintendent says an organization outside the community recently filed a complaint about prayer over the intercom and on guidance from attorneys there will instead be a moment of silence. We believe that uh, prayer should be in school and when there's not then obviously the country doesn't have blessing. Religion is ingrained in many who live here. On a Wednesday night, we found members of the Church of Remlap cleaning windshields as a part of their ministry. I feel like we as Christians are being silenced, um, and so we have to go with the majority that's very loud. Organizations previously threatened other area schools with lawsuits, arguing that not everyone should be subjected to a prayer over a public intercom. A complaint prompted Hewitt Trustville students to say their own prayer during a moment of silence last year. Some neighbors say even without an intercom, they'll still pronounce their faith. We believe that that's an integral part of our life. We believe that to be able to pray, that uh, the Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. Now, there were a few people who reached out to me in uh, social media context who live in Blount County that said they don't really feel like religion should be forced on everyone, but they don't want to speak out against the majority. There will be four Blount County home games this Friday. Live in the studio tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.